Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn a little bit deeper about the branches concept. Now, if you try to see the projects or the previous project, e-commerce project, what we have seen. If you try to see the, if you want to see the list of branches, so you can write git branch and you will be able to see the list of branches here. So how the git able to know that these are all the list of branches? So how it is populating these all the things? So let's go to the git repository and we'll try to see. So previously we have seen right how the commits are being saving, how the hash file, how hash objects are being saving in the git repository we have seen, how the commits are getting saved, how the data is getting saved we have seen. In the same scenario, how the branches are being saved. So let's try to see. So if you go to the git repository, here is our e-commerce project. And if you try to see here, if you go into the git repository, here you will be able to see objects folder. And in this object folders, you will be able to see all the commits. So with the first two letters as a hash, we will be able to see. But the branches thing, if you go here, so we have already learned that branches are nothing but a reference. So here you will be able to see the refs, refs folder. In this refs folders, if you try to open, and here you will be able to see the folder heads. So this is the heads folder, you will try to see the heads folder. If you click on this heads folder and here you will be able to see two files that are nothing but login feature and the master. So master is nothing but it is also a branch. So that is reason. So a file has been created and this login feature has been created. So these are the two branches. So that means whenever we create a branch, a, automatically a file will be created in the git repository in the refs and the heads folder. So now what we will try to do is, we will try to create another branch. So in order to create a branch, so not to move into that branch, so we just only to create a branch, what we will try to do is git branch space branch, okay. And here you can give something like dummy branch, okay, I am, I am giving a name dummy branch. And if I click enter here, so now the I will stay in this login feature branch only, but the branch will be created. If you want to see the list of branches, you can di directly print the so login feature and the dummy branch and the master branch. These are the three branches. So that means if you go here into the folder, now here you will be able to see another file, dummy branch here. So that means, so this is the way how the git will be creating the files for these branches. Now if you try, if you want to see the contents inside this branch, what is the content present inside this branch? So if you try to see here, so now let's try to write cat dot git, okay, dot refs, and inside the heads you will be able to see and I want to see the master okay what is the master code what is the master present so here you will be able to see the hash some hash object so commit id you will be able to see the id now if I try to print git log okay and here we are having some some data okay so these are the commits that has been done in the login feature branch now if you try to see if you want to see the data present in this end so for example if I clear this one all Okay, so if I write git log, okay, now here you remember 0, 1, this one is there, right? So now if I want to check the data present inside the login feature branch, so cat dot git slash heads slash, sorry, refs slash heads slash, so I want to check the thing present here, login feature. If I click here, you see the commit hash, whatever the commit hash it is, the head is in the login feature. Okay, so the same data is saved here. So that means it is referencing to some commit, to one commit ID. Okay, so in this data, it will, it will be having. So this tree, it is referencing. In the same scenario, if you want to see the dummy branch also, you will be able to see. So dummy branch, okay. So dummy branch. Now you will be able to see the same commit it is accessing. Now if I want to go, so git checkout master, okay, I will go to the master. And in this master, you will try to see git log. If I press git log, here AC is there, right? So this is the this is the commit, this is the hash ID which is present in the branch branch file. So if I want to check git heads master, okay. So now AC04. So this is the commit, it is pointing, the master is pointing. So this is how the, the data what it is present in this one is nothing but the hash object ID. And this hash object ID. The data for that hash object ID where it will be present in the git in the object. So here you will be able to see the data. So this is how the reference will be having. So now if you try to see, if I clear this one all, now here if I type branch, git branch, okay. So now here 
the master branch is in the green color so it is in the highlight color so how come this git cable to know that i am present in this branch so live how come git cable to know so this how come git able to know is so if you type here if you go here this is because of the head so where is that head present it is nothing but what we can say is in the dot git here you will be having the head okay so this is the head so now if you want to see the contents of the head what is the contents of the head present so now i can write cat dot git head okay so now you will be able to see here it is referencing to the file that is nothing but refs slash heads slash master this is nothing but refs folder heads folder master this is the branch where we have been there so now if i shift the branch git branch what we can say we will go to the dummy branch okay so i went uh, sorry git checkout so if you want to move out so what we need to do we need to write git checkout so dummy branch so we shift we shifted back to the dummy branch so now if i want to check that head file so what could be the head file here now it referencing to the dummy branch so just simply what the git will think is whatever the head it is referencing to the branch that branch will be highlighted in the green color now it is referencing to the dummy branch now if i type if i try to type git branch here the dummy branch will be in the green color okay so this is how the branching will work in behind the scenes now what we'll try to do is so now i didn't like this dummy branch name okay i want to rename this dummy branch name so how can i rename this one so what we can do is git branch hyphen m okay so what i can do here dummy underscore branch i will i will i will change it to new branch new underscore branch instead of this one new branch so if i press enter see automatically the dummy branch has been changed to the new branch if i try to press git branch so you will have the new branch as the same this is how we will be renaming the branches now the same scenario we can have the delete feature also so if you want to have the delete feature how we can do is so now if i am in the new branch what i will try to do is so git branch hyphen d so hyphen d is for delete and what you can type you can type new underscore branch so what it is trying to tell it is telling that cannot delete the branch why because we are already existing in that branch and we are trying to delete the branch which we are right now checked out so now we need to move it to a separate branch in order to delete that new branch so what we can do git checkout git checkout sorry checkout master so i move to the master now what i will try to do git branch hyphen d new underscore branch okay i will try to delete so now what it is trying to tell so it is trying to tell that the branch new underscore branch is not fully merged so now not fully merged means so for example what we will try to do is so leave it that one so now we will try to check the branches again so what i will try to do i will try to create a branch okay git branch Mm, so uh, delete branch or something like this i will create okay so i have created a branch now i want to delete this branch so what i can delete is so now git branch hyphen d delete branch okay this is the branch so automatically this has been deleted so when we have created this one so now what i will try to do is i will try to create the same branch like this delete branch so now i will move 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 into the delete branch here okay so delete branch i moved into the delete branch now what i will try to do here so i will try to uh, commit some code so now vi so what i can do is so here let, let's try to check the files yeah okay uh, vi index.txt so i changed some files so now so i will write some one here and i will try to save it so let's try to check the status so now i will try to add it into the staging area now here i will commit hyphen m so i can write test commit or something like this okay test commit so i am committing the file so now i committed if i committed the code in the delete branch you need to remember so i committed some code in the delete branch now i will move it to the master okay so i moved it to the master now i want to delete this delete branch but you need to remember that i have committed some changes in the delete branch so now when i when i try to delete that branch automatically all the changes what i have done all the commits what i have did in that delete branch will be automatically deleted now if i try to do the same thing git branch git branch sorry hyphen d delete underscore branch if i try to delete it will be saying that the branch delete underscore branch is not fully merged with the master so that means there are some 
changes that has been done in the delete branch if you want to delete automatically it, it you cannot delete it if you want to delete please use this command hyphen capital d so then the changes what you have did all the things will be deleted from the delete branch so this is the thing it is saying so previously also for the branch there are some commits changes that has been not merged with the master so that is the reason it is telling so now what we need to do so if you, if you are, are you sure you want to delete means you can delete so git tries to tell us suggestion that so you are trying to delete a branch which could not be deleted so there are some data which could be useful in the future so you are doing you have did already some commits so if you are uh, sure that you want to delete means just use capital d here okay so now i deleted the branch so now it will be successfully deleted so this is how we will be deleting the branch in the kit so now we have seen the renaming how to rename the branch and also how to delete the branch and how the branches references are actually saved in the git also we have seen if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you